let's do my skincare routine and start this vlog off on the right foot, shall we? All right, I'm going to be looking at you and in my mirror because sometimes you need better eyesight. First step is always tone, and I use this brand from the Dollar Tree. This um, rose water aloe is very, like, um, good for sensitive skin, I feel. It's just very soothing. Um, all skin types advance formula. I just got out of the shower. My skin is cleansed. I don't always exfoliate. I only exfoliate so many days a week. I did not exfoliate today. Do a light exfoliation several days a week. And grab a little thing. My hair's not even done yet. My hair's wet. All right. You just wipe over your entire face. This gets rid of any residue left behind by makeup, soap, and also opens up your pores so your pores could accept the creams that we're gonna put on. Because they'll just lay on this top surface of your skin. So I'm told anyway, again, I'm not an institution. I'm just telling you what I do, what I was told. You can see my eyes right here. By the few, a few more minutes into the video, you will see that that will disappear. So yeah, for people who say eye cream doesn't work, Either A, doesn't use a good one. B, the lines are just too deep. Like these are lines, they're not creases. I was, let's see anything on here. You can see there's a little tinge there. She said to me, creams only help fine lines. They don't help creases. So when they're deep, that needs to be filled in if you wanted to fill them in with like collagen filler or whatever. I'm almost done this Charlotte Tilbury eye. Rescue, I, I got it as a, on my influence, I have an app called Influencer, which is they just send me products to review on, on like Sephora and stuff. It's not something I bring on the channel. And this was one of them. And I really like it, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's pretty nice. So I don't, and I know Charlotte Tilbury is a pretty good brand. So you put it right here underneath your eye and just sweep up using the ring finger because she told me that was the most um, gentlest finger. I'm not sure. I always put on that like hood too. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that. That's what I do <laughs> of my eye to get a little bit of lift and tightness. I'm almost done this one. Look at that. But I do really like it. Okay. Next is something I've just started using. It's called this one I got in a subscription box. I'm not sure if I really love it. Uh, it is a serum. This is plant-based retinol serum. I figured I had it. I might as well use it. I don't dislike it. I did, you know, it's just not something I don't know. So it always comes in a dropper. So I only need a few drops of serum. Just drop it in my palm. So let's do about four. Rub my hands together, and I just put it all over my skin. And I thought the serum went last because I don't know this felt like it will last. And the girl told me, no, serum goes before moisturizer because the moisturizer holds the serum in. I'm a little bit more. Drops. And I do my neck as well. This is from my CPAP machine. I don't know what is the problem with that, but it seems like it's cutting in my nose lately. All right. And last but not least is our moisturizer. And I really enjoy the Confidence in a Cream by It Cosmetics. You can get it at any, I must do for refill for that too. Let me tell you something, they used to call it the skin's drink. And I kind of understand why, because it really goes into the skin and absorbs and it feels so good on. It's like, oh my gosh, can you just, Rub it in gently. I have problems in my forehead being dry, <laughs> but when I was a kid, my forehead was oily. Always sweep down. I also have a neck cream that I got in a subscription box. I don't always use it. I honestly don't know if it really works, but I love the brand Earth's Harbor. So I was excited to get it. We'll put it on today. So there we have our moisturizer. We're all moisturized up. And let me tell you, when you get into a routine, you enjoy it and you look forward to it and your skin 
just drinks it up. Here it is. We'll try it today. This is the Earth Harbor Azure. This is um, neck cream. Regenerative neck cream. But I love this brand. They had a um, eye cream that I really, really liked from them. I got in a subscription box a while back. So we'll just put some on our neck. And it can't hurt, you know, any creams. You know, they might not help and give you what, what you want, but it's definitely going to moisturize your decollete. <laughs> so just go all the way down like that. We're all ready to start our day. Now, what I'll do now is wash my hands, dry my hair, and then I'm going to put some eyeliner on and a little bit of lip moisturizer and some earrings, and I'll be back. Here we are. Eyes are on, earrings are on, these cute little Timu. I think I'm, I'm dressed in Timu. This sh shirt is from Timu. I love this shirt. Look at the detail. A lot of people are on the fence about ordering from Timu. Not that I'm here to tell Timu because I'm not, but for the price, the quality is amazing. It's, I mean, look at the detail on this shirt. Look at the little, I mean, come on, people. Um, and my shoes are teaming, but we'll see those later. Um, we are going to make breakfast. I'm thinking of a p breakfast pizza. I have those Atoria crust out, so let's make one. I'm thinking like avocado and egg pizza with a little bit of Canadian bacon thrown in there for the just for the win. All right, I'm hungry. Let's go. First, I'm going to start off sauteing some mushrooms I got at Trader Joe's. You'll see that haul on Friday, which will be tomorrow. Um, <laughs> these are just some plain, I believe these are just button mushrooms. So I'm just going to cook them up. I'm going to keep them for the week, just have them in scrambles or maybe with maybe some, I don't know, some dinner, some bowls, some veggie sides. It's always good to, you know, <clears throat> cook your mushrooms up. This way you get to use them. Sometimes we have these vegetables sitting in our refrigerator that don't get used oh yeah 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 so i always suggest cooking them up a little bit i have a little olive oil spray on there once they start sauteing i will add a little salt and pepper and then i will get on to the rest of my pizza all right we cooked our mushrooms and i just scrambled my eggs and heated my canadian bacon up i'm going to take one of my Atoria's pizza crust cauliflower coconut from their website or you can get them locally uh, they also offer my lovelies D15 to get you 15% off if you go on their website. Never a hard sell. You could always use any lavash, but these are a little bit thicker because they're a pizza crust. Let me spray it up on there. A little bit thicker than their normal lavash. Oh, I want to know the calories. That is 120 calories. And there is 10 grams of protein in that. That's pretty good. So, love my protein peeps. Yeah. All right, tray. Sorry about that. All right, what are we gonna put first? Probably our base of cheese, and I'm using a laughing cow, just a regular one. I I wish the, the bulk stores used to sell um, these in all different flavors in bulk. They don't anymore, which is kind of sad. So that was scrape a lot of. Our spreader from the Kate May Peanut Butter Company. It's a great little pool. You just spread your cheese. Maybe you use any cheese. I just like that this is a spreadable cheese. Gives me the creaminess. You know, I just, you know, I love that. Uh, that was on my, that was how, that's what spurred my video last Friday, my top, you know, 10, I think it was. It was just, I was like saying how much I love this cheese and how important this cheese has been on my journey. And I thought there's a lot more things too, but this definitely is up there. Okay. Now how you build it, again, is it your way? I'm just going to like slap some of these eggs. Look at that, two farm fresh eggs. And they're so creamy. I'm just going to spread those out a little bit. A little bit more over here. I'll save a little bit for Bailey. Sorry, I said that. Bailey loves eggs. I'm surprised he's gonna hurt when he heard me say he didn't come running in. I'm going to move this over. And I'm gonna grab my vegetables and my Canadian bacon. I'm gonna chop those I'm just gonna sit here. Chop our bacon. Again, you could get away with one slice if you didn't want to count it. 
But you know what? Honestly, I've learned through the last few weeks of tracking that a couple extra slices of Canadian bacon is not going to make or break you. Okay, bacon. We're doing two, two mini bell peppers. Now, you could have cooked these with your mushrooms if you wanted them cooked. We're going to put this pizza in the oven just to heat it through. I don't want it crispy, but, I mean, if you want it crispy, then, yeah. I mean, I didn't part cook the crust. Sometimes I part toast it, and but I didn't this time because I kind of liked it soft. Like I said, that's, a, that's just a personal preference, you know. You do you, boo, and if you like your crust, you do it. And just chop your veggies any way you want. Don't have to be perfect. Nobody's grading you on your chopping skills. But always, when you use a sharp knife, curl those fingers up because you don't want to lose. I've cut my nails off, actually. Yep, my nails, because they were too long, I sliced one of them off. And, of course, I'm going to have a little bit of onion because, you know, I almost thought about putting this in with the mushrooms, but, yeah, I like it raw. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I do. Now, I'm going to put some green onion. I have a green onion in there. We also have some avocado we're going to put on top as well. So let's put back in this little case. So, like I said, I probably have too much pepper. So we're just some of that. <laughs> I don't think I have too much. And I'm telling you, there, there is a lot of Canadian bacon, so... But you know what? It's high in protein. We have a protein-packed pizza between our crust, our eggs, and our Canadian bacon. This is going to be quite lovely. I want some more peppers. What the heck? You know, veggies, there's like vitamin, what, C in peppers? So we could use a little bit more of those. And this will require a fork, no doubt. Let's not forget our mushrooms. And I just put them in a little container. I will save them for during the week. Get that out of the way. And just lay a few on top. Now, if I had cheese, would probably bind that and really hold it in. But honestly... I'm all right with using the fork. I got no problem with it. So also I want to put one more thing on top. No, actually I'm going to save it for after I bake it because I was going to put some tomatoes on top, but I don't like them cooked. So I'm going to put this in the oven. I have a little toaster oven. I'm just going to put it on just to get everything together. It's not going to be long. It's not going to be crispy. It'll just be a few minutes and we'll come back and top it with our avocado and our tomato. All right, let's weigh out our avocado. I always put a little piece of um, parchment or wax paper on top tar it put it to grams there we go this is a really sad looking avocado so i don't know how much we're going to get out of it that looks decent like that's pretty gross so we're throwing that out i'm just trying to use up this avocado and i knew it wasn't the best get that little stem out of there 24 grams, 36 grams, we'll just use probably this much, 40, let's go to the 50 grams, why not, you know, we only live once, right, 50, on the dot, on the nose, 50 grams, so yeah, that's going south, so we're gonna, bye bye to you, okay, 50 grams of avocado, I have to go track it, I'm gonna eat a mushroom while I'm waiting, there we have our pizza out of the oven. And I put it on the plate, it was a little bit, it was a little bit precarious, not to lie. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna top it with some fresh of these little hot, hot house tomatoes from Trader Joe's. They're all different colors. They're all really cute. We have orange, we have red, we have like brown. I'm not even sure, but look how pretty they look on top. And put some freshly ground pepper on this. Yeah, I don't think we need any salt because everything else has been seasoned, so we're good that way. I'm looking at this avocado. It might be a lot. I don't know. We could shave off a point by only having half of it. So I might just do that. I mean, 
I mean, I don't know. I just feel like this is a lot of avocado. And I don't know if I really want that much. So we might just have half that would shave off a point. And it comes out with that amount of avocado. Eight WW points, nine better balance points. There's 35, 36 grams of protein, 17 grams of carbohydrates, 25 grams of fat, 433 calories for this. This is a lot of food. I wonder some days if I eat too much. I don't know. I think we're going to shave off a point of all that, though, with a bit of half the avocado. Honestly, I don't think I need it all. It's kind of being a bit overkill. It's going to be one of those pizzas that you eat with a knife and a fork, I think, because it's, it's going to be messy. But thank you for coming along and helping me make my breakfast this morning. I'm going to go enjoy it. That was good. What I do differently, I would do one egg, fry it flat. It was very puffy. I wouldn't do that. That's my difference. But it was delicious anyway. Just a little bit messy. And of course, I didn't eat that much avocado. So I have the rest of it here. Live and learn, you know? <sighs> you know, what is it? Our eyes are bigger than our stomachs. I don't know. But you want to see something fun? Watch. We'll put you in the holder. <clears throat> I want to show you how cute. Because he's is so smart. Because he's so smart. I have these little bit of eggs left. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you down. I want you to see if I'm running in. And it's, I'm not gonna say it really loud. I'm not gonna have to. Bailey wants some eggs. <laughs> like clockwork. All right, sit. Stay. Sit. You want to eggs? Mommy, get you bitty bitty eggs for Bailey. Eggs for Bailey. Everybody loves seeing you, Bailey. Say hi, everybody. Say hi. <laughs> I knew. I'm telling you, I didn't say it that loud. You don't have to. He knows certain words are like key for him. Ooh, extra pepper. And eggs is one of them. So, time to get to work. I have to go down and film Wednesday Wisdom for Weight Loss. It is 9.40. I am running behind. Not sure why that is, but I'm running behind. I'm going to clean some of this up and then get downstairs, get filming, and we will be back. Oh, I have a surprise to show you. There's some things that came in the mail that you get to see. Yep. One of the things I ordered off of Amazon. And one of the things is a box that was sent for review. So, let's get to it. All right, my lovelies. Time for an unboxing. I am unboxing a new subscription box that I did last month and they were they loved my subscription they wanted me to do it again so I'm like okay I love subscription boxes this is the silver swag subscription box I believe this is the month of April a little bit about this their mission is to help busy families send love and stay connected to loved ones with curated selections of fun, practical items delivered each month. The gifts are so fun, you'll want to one for yourself. What's inside? Each month, a box is carefully curated with fun activities and items that are tied to the unique theme and designed to delight, encourage conversations, and show how much you care. Boxes include activities, daily use, personal care items, conversation cards, and more. Yeah, there's a fun activity, there's some decor, some gadgets, all different things each month. So they have plans. You can choose month to month, six months, or 12 months. These are a monthly box. If that is not something that's, if that's too much, then I get it. But you can play per month, six months, and 12 months. Now, usually, when you buy the longer month plans, they go a little bit less expensive. But you could send one as a gift with a personalized note, so that's always nice. They ship the first week of every month. So let's see what we have in April. They also offer my lovelies $15 off your first box with DWD 15. And that is sweet of them. So let's see what's in the month of March. I mean, April. There we go. Okay. It's always 
done so nice. I will tell you that. They do a nice box. All right. Uh, okay. This may be Steve's favorite box. I don't know. Silver Swag Box presents Taco Tuesday. Thanks for being part of Silver Swag Box. There's their Instagram and their Facebook. Stay lo send love, stay connected. If you want to check them out on their socials, there you go. Have what's inside. And these are the activity fun cards where you could do fun activities right there. Let's taco about it. We're divided on these taco staples. Where do you... Where do you stand? Morning. Discussion of these questions carefully to avoid your Taco Tuesday becoming a food fight. Uh, we're going to have to do these. We're going out for Cinco de Mayo, and I'm going to bring this card with us. So, all right. Let's see what's in the box. How pretty. I think that's just beautiful. Love the sticker. Hello, April. Oh, yes, please. Hate rid of the sticker, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do. Ooh, we got little candies. Live every day like it's Taco Tuesday. How stinking cute is that? We got some candies in the top. Holy guacamole. Aren't these cute? Can't touch this. A little fun little things. Love them. All right. Oh, I love, love subscription boxes. These are how you reward yourself on your journey because these are fun. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's pull this right out of the top. All right, this is a Sensational Skillet Everyday Gourmet Weeknight Cheesy Taco Skillet by Davis and Davis. It's a weeknight cheesy taco skillet kit. Have Taco Tuesday any night of the week with one skillet and a few added ingredients. Rest ready in less than 30 minutes. You have to put a pound of cooked and drained ground beef, or you can use, or chicken, turkey, or Italian sausage. You have some, you need some stock, some tomato sauce, and some shredded cheese. And all the nutritional information is on the back, which I don't think is terrible for us on a weight loss journey. It's all natural, low sodium, ready in 30 minutes. All right, number one, going to get used. Love that. Ooh, these are ham and cinnamon churro marshmallows. One bite of these treats will make you say, sure, all I need. 80 calories for five pieces. We need to taste one, don't we? Because I can afford that. Oh, we're going to cut it. Cut it, cut it, because, you know. I'm just saying, you know, it's fun stuff here. On dish with the she can get it open i broke my nails so it's hard to separate anything oh man like d we want you to try it i don't want to hit the resealable part there we go i got it now <gasps> now it is 80 calories for five pieces i'm only having one Look at all the, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, or a cup of chai tea. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Oh, they're amazing. Oh, I'm really low in calories. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. They're amazing. Oh. Oh my goodness, what's, the, oh my gosh. It is a Plunchkins. It's Taco Tuesday Somewhere Plush. Let's talk about it, how cute this plushie is, reminding us that delicious tacos are never too far away. I mean, is this? I should give this to my husband to put in his car because Steve loves tacos. I mean, come on, he's adorable. Got his lettuce sticking up. I mean, he's cute. Hello. Oh, I'll stick him on my shelf back there. He's adorable. All right, we're still not done yet. We got one more thing. Oh, ho, ho. you know, he's all about, okay, dip and bowl set. Look at that. 
We got skinny dip and chunky dip. I love it. I love little dip bowls. Little, ooh, these are nice size too. Let's take them out of the thing. These bowls are perfect for every dip and chip, whether you like it skinny or you like it chunky. Like, yes. Cute. I love the fact that our dip says skinny on it. And here's the chunky one. These are adorable. Very nice quality. Look at the, I love how it has like those cute little ribbings. Oh, that is adorable. So thank you to Silver Swag. That is adorable. I love this month's theme because Cinco de Mayo is a few weeks away. So again, everything will be linked down below. Again, my code will get you $15 off your first box. It's a lot of fun. I love subscription boxes. This is a fun one and a tasty one at that. So let's on to the next venture. This is how Bailey spends his day looking at his Easter basket. What do you want? What do you want, Belle? Where's your Easter basket? Where is it? Where's your Easter basket? Well, show mommy. What do you want? What do you want? Show mommy. Go ahead. What? What do you want? Go ahead. Go get it. Go ahead. Go get your Easter basket. Go get it, Bailey. Go get it. What do you want? What do you want, Belle Belle? Huh? You want this? Hmm? Is that what you want? What do you want? What? What do you want? What? What? Yeah. <laughs> you want the treat? Do you want a treat? You're so sweet. You're a tail guy. You want a treat? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll get you something. I wanted to share this fun fact. The little dishes that I just showed you in that box, I was bringing them up to wash them because I think they're adorable. And it's from Magnolia Lane. And it says that they are microwave and dishwasher safe. So I thought Magnolia Lane, I Googled it. These retail for $35 on the website. So there you go, $35. So there, and you got it at a discount because that whole box wasn't much more than that. And these alone are $35. That's insanity, if you ask me to find. But it's a good deal on the box, so. That's why you do subscription boxes. So I am going to clean these up because Cinco de Mayo is in. Today's the 12th, a little over two and a half weeks, right? I love Cinco de Mayo. Maybe we'll have a whole video dedicated to Cinco de Mayo. I like, the, you know, I like these vlogs. I get so much to do in these, like, like I said, if there wasn't people around at dinner time, we would probably make dinner together, but there are way too many people around. It seems nice and quiet, nobody's around. They would leave me alone until like six, we could have like a little dinner get together, but that's the reason you don't see dinner prep. It's just, it's too much chaos. So I'm gonna get rid of all these. Um, oh, I'm, I'm, this is out of order. <laughs> it's out of order. Um, I really want to put that, maybe I'll just shut up. I'm just gonna shut up. Alrighty, my package from Amazon arrived and I thought I'd share. This is something I saw on Hungry Girl's email. Um, if you don't follow Hungry Girl's email, you should. They're always informative. There's always good recipes and she's going to spotlight, spotlight some fun things on Amazon. So she spotlighted this and I'm like, ooh, I could use that. So I ordered. It's this open with that. I need scissors, of course. I need to have everything sharp over here. I don't. I can grab a scissors. I'll be right back. It's like a box within a box within a box. There's another box. Seriously. See? This is the second box. This is the first box. And this is the third box. Well, nothing better be broken with all these boxes, all I'm saying. 
Let me get this to come out. Thank God it's recycling day because third box. Oh my God. It is from NutriChef. I didn't know this one was called. Highly they're just glass food serving containers. They're square around and a rectangle shape. I don't remember them being three. I thought there was only two. There we go. Register one year and you get a free gift. Oh, there we go. It's free and you get registered. Usage and care of your food storage. They have like a lock and lock lids. I have a lot of plastic containers and honestly, they're just getting old and they get funky. So you know what? I thought, you know what? Why not just transition into glass containers with cute lock and lock lids? So we have a round one. We have a rectangle one and we have a square one. Of course, the only problem with these is can you stack them better? I don't know. That's the first row. And then we have a bigger round one, which is like my favorite size. I have these in, is it Corning, I think? I got them on um, the deal. I used my Kohl's cash and got them, so they cost me anything. There's a bigger round one with a smaller round one inside. So there's another two more round ones. Did that, oh, does this one have anything in there? No, this one's a regular round one another round one and then the smaller round one in there. So another row. A rectangle and a square with a smaller square in there. But there's still another row. A Square. And then a last but not least, and then none of them came broke, which is probably why there's so many boxes. A rectangle with a smaller rectangle in there. But yep, they all have the lock and lock lids that are PBA free. So in case you were saying, and this is the color gray that they had. I thought gray seemed pretty neutral. They'll have to get washed, of course, but there's the lid that locks. I guess you can nestle some of them like they're nestled here so they can save some space, but you, these are microwave, freezer. I think I think they're oven safe. I don't know for sure, though, if they're oven safe. I know they're microwave safe. So then I guess you can put your leftovers, which is great. You can even take it right to lunch in there. Yep, because the plastic just gets all funky. So I am repurposing. These were $36, I think, I believe. I will link them down below if they're still available on Amazon. But yeah, you got how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, twelve. There are 12 containers with 12 lids. So for, it gets to be like $3 a container or something like that, which I don't think, you know, for glass, it's a bad option. So that is what I ordered from Amazon this week. I should have like a weekly thing. What do you, I don't order every week, but yeah, this is what I ordered this week. So thanks to Hungry Girl. So yep, I'm getting rid of some of the old plastic containers, like those old Chinese food ones. There's some old ones that I haven't used in a while and to make room for the new stuff. Clearing out to get new stuff is what we do. We don't keep both. I'm trying to get better at decluttering. So if I'm buying something new, something has to go. So yes, I am up on the chair. So I'm going to clear out this closet and get those cleaned up and watch the magic happen. <laughs> Someday I'll montage it, but I'm not that good yet. All going in to the trash. Out with the old and in with the new. So yeah, if you saw the earlier clip, you'll know why it was out of, well, 
I am gonna get all these containers in the recycling. I'm going to clean the other ones and we'll see if we can um, put them back. What I have in the top part of that cabinet is pasta bowls. I was on a, uh, you know, at one point I was getting pasta bowls. I have so many bowls. I got rid of the very old set I had. I only have those pasta bowls and those cute bowls that I got at Target. So that's where I'm going to declutter my containers. This has been a very productive day. I think having to vlog it does help. We should vlog more. I don't know. Let me get done. Also wanted to take notice. It is 1230 and see the eyes? You see they're a little bit less puffier and those little fine lines are diminished from earlier this morning. That's why you do good skincare. Time to rustle us up some lunch. So I have a lot of these English cucumbers to use up that I did get last week. So I'm going to chop up and make a cucumber, pepper, and onion and tomato salad for the first part of our lunch. We're not too starving. I mean, I want a little something, but I'm not like, oh, ravenous, because that lunch was extremely filling. I think because I used all the Canadian bacon and I did use the second egg i think it kind of took it it was a high protein breakfast that's for sure so we're just going to keep it light for lunch veggies and maybe we'll throw a little cheese stick in there that'd be delightful wouldn't it need a bowl a bowl would help choose one of the new bowls i'd wash them all well, you could eat out of them so yeah why not right I'm gonna have half an English cucumber. I'll put you down as you can see. Nice and crunchy. I'm gonna put a nice little um, vinaigrette on here. About some, a few mini bell peppers, because I love peppers and crunch of the peppers. These are gonna be really seedy. And I have a Wednesday Wisdom going live in about five minutes. I gotta get this lunch ready in five minutes because I don't want to miss the beginning. Sometimes I wonder, like, where's Dave for the premiere? She's probably eating. I do forget the time. But this one I shouldn't forget because I just uploaded it. I'm going to rip those seeds up, slide them up, and just chop them up. Fingers curled at all times. I want to just put your little. And these have just a nice little pop of color, some more crunch. I love crunch. Do you realize I love crunch? I don't know if you know that. But you know that about me. Dee loves crunch, loves textures. And I have some more of those tomatoes from. Let's get this toss. From. Uh, Trader Joe's. These are the ones. See, so they have all different colors. And the best way to cut a tomato, I, I, I do have, wait a minute, I do have one, is with a serrated knife, like a bread knife. This one could do it. It just it smushes them. So the serrated cuts right for this fleshy skin really quickly. So I'm going to pick out a couple cool looking colors because you know, look at that rainbow. A quick rinse and this knife will make ease see doesn't even there's no no smushiness to them that just does the trick so if you have a bread knife or a steak knife anything with a serrated tip you can make ham at it these green ones look at them aren't they cool i just cut them in quarters I like my tomatoes small. And I got some green onions at Trader Joe's yesterday as well. So you'll, again, see that haul tomorrow for Food Finds Friday. All right, we just want one little edge off. Go give it a rinse. All right, back to the big knife. Cut them in half. Makes quick work of this onion. 
And I love green onions. They're much more milder, and I use the whole thing. Bottoms and tops. If you want less of an onion flavor, then just get the, the green tops, but I love the bottoms as well. So there we go. Spoon, toss, look at that. And we're gonna throw a little bit of Kinder's garlicky herb, because that's what I have around. A little bit of that. Where's my salt? Salt, 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 salt. Here she is. It's a dash. I'm gonna grab my vinegar. You can use any vinegar. I'm gonna use a rice wine Japanese vinegar, because that's what I like. But you know, it just depends on my mood. I'm gonna use this rice wine vinegar. I love it. It's just got a little, I don't know, a little oomph to it. It's a little splash. And toss your veg. We have a beautifully delicious vegetable salad. But to pair it with a cheese stick and some crackers. And voila, we have a great delicious lunch full of crunch and full of vitamins. All right, we're going to try a new protein powder to me. Motivate came out with their own protein powder. So I'm super excited to try it. So I'm hoping I like it. 100 calories, 20 grams of protein, one less than one gram of carb non-gmo it is in chocolates they also have like a thing called a fit bundle that that's running a special now i think you save 50 dollars or something like that it's 99 dollars. you get the protein you also get the burn supplement and the skinny sleep supplement apparently helps you burn calories in your sleep i don't know i've never tried this i've i can't attest i will tell you i do enjoy the burn i do feel like it gives me a little bit of extra zippity doo -dah day, shall we call it, in my day. I, I do enjoy the liquid and the pill form. I gotta find the scooper in here. So we thought we would try this. And remember, you can get, hmm, it smells pretty good. It looks like Nestle Quick. This could be good, because I've never gotten a chocolate protein powder I enjoy. I don't know what it is with me and chocolate protein. I just don't enjoy it. I don't know, I've not found one that I enjoy. So for a nice little midday snack, I'm going to make some protein. And of course I'm going to use some Almond Breeze Almond Coconut Beverage. I like to shake it. You shake your almond milk too. And I do love their little shaker. They ought to put this in the bundle. I don't think that they did. I, I love, this is probably one of my favorite blenders because look, you don't have that stinking ball that I, you know, I always lose. You get this. Better than the ball. Down with the ball. So we're going to put a cup. It says 8 to 10 ounces, but we're going to use 8. I don't know the points of this. I didn't check. I'm going to assume it's one or two points, but I will definitely let you know. Because I can't scan it now because we're making something with it. Okay. A little scoopy. I don't think it smells really good, which is, you know, is it good size? You could put ice too if you wanted to make it really cold, but I am just going to screw this on properly. Screw this on. Okay, so then I load screwed on and it squirts everywhere. Just like that. Why is it I don't tighten things properly? And these where you just ever learn. smell good. I will tell you that. We should pour it out into a glass. I have a plastic glass right over here. Cheers. Let's hope I like it. Hmm. Actually, I taste coconut, but I'm thinking it's the milk. Taste because the milk is coconut, but actually, tonight it's actually pretty good. 
It's not overpowering. It's not really like hit you in the face and it doesn't have a protein aftertaste, which is always good. But I don't know if I would use the coconut milk because it tastes really coconut. <laughs> if there's anything wrong with chocolate coconut, it's pretty good. Wow, I'm impressed, Motivate. I mean, I might, might find a chocolate protein powder that I can get behind. Oh, so if you, I will have a link down below if you want to check them out. I don't even know the price, honestly. I don't. But I can tell you the taste is pretty good. Mm. It reminds me of um, Nestle Quick, which is a good thing. Because if you know me, there's not a chocolate protein powder that I like. Not even devotion. Yeah. Good stuff. Motivate, you come through. Good stuff. I would give this five out of five. It's really good. Here is the updated cabinet. This one I'm keeping with all smaller ones because I seem, seem to go through those a lot more and here are our new ones all shiny look at that I got rid of a lot I will show you the reason unless Peter already took it out the recycling but yep this is my treat to myself a few years ago it was a marble mortal and pestle I don't use it enough and I should but it's, it was something I treated myself to but yep done with the cabinets organization check I'm trying to make some light chicken cordon bleu. Hope I can get this filmed. It is just some boneless, skinless breasts. I have two of them. I cut them in half. I'm just going to season them. I'm going to roast them in a little toaster oven. Top them with a slice of ham and a slice of Jarlsberg light cheese for a little riff on cordon bleu. All you have to count is the slice of ham and the cheese. Won't be that much considering it's going to be a nice plate of deliciousness. So I have my chicken. And I'm just going to put a slice of leftover Easter ham on each piece. I should cut the fat off of it. <laughs> I'm just gonna lay it like that. Again, just trying to use up this ham. The last day we're gonna have it. And it's a spiral slice, so it's already sliced for me. I just have to lay it on there. Of course, the dog is right here, hoping something will fall for him. So this is like that. I mean, really, what did that add? Hardly anything, really. I mean, a point for that amount of ham. Now we're going to grab some Jarlsberg light cheese. My hands are sweat from just drying. Washing them off. Jarlsberg light open. Grab scissors. Whatever you All right, we're just going to cut our... The Allsburg light open. Get rid of that. Okay. That cheese was giving me a hard time. So, you just have to separate the slices. It's not always that easy. I was going to kind of put it in the middle. I just put, there's two points of slice, so that's not tragic. I'm just going to put a slice on each piece of ham. And we'll put it back in the oven or the toaster oven to heat everything through. And this is, like I said, this is a makeshift um, cordon bleu. But it's kind of, you know, a riff on cordon bleu. And of course, Bailey would like a piece of cheese, if you can see him. There he is. 
put this in the oven just for a few minutes just to melt everything and blend it together and there it is right out of the oven nice and melted the chicken is zero the ham is probably one point and the cheese is two points so it is a three point piece of chicken i'm going to serve it with some leftover rice and one of those kits from trader joe's i think it was four points for a serving so it's going to be a nice little delicious dinner can't wait to dig in all righty just finished up live for the night i am i am toast <laughs> Live always takes a lot out of me. Um, it's a lot of reading. It's a lot of keeping up in conversation. Because as I'm reading, I'm also thinking about my next thought. So it's really hard. In a way, I mean, I will say it's be. I've made a. I make it look easy. I, I've told people like I'm like. I think I finally got it, it down to a science how I do it. But it's it. it I do leave it exhausted. I will tell you that. And because my eyes hurt it's like i just want to like close my eyes and relax but it's it's fun i enjoy it we have a really good time so i do enjoy doing it but i'm going to end this video it's a little bit longer than i wanted it to be as usual i was going to do a um purse clean out and show you what i keep in my purse but yeah time ran out we'll do that next week i'm changing purses so it'll be like what's in my purse because i see people do video. it's kind of fun like what people keep in their purse and I'm going to like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you everything in my purse. You might be shocked at some things. You might not be shocked. I'm trying to remember what's even in there. I have a, I carry a lot of stuff. I do. Some things necessary, some things not necessary. But, you know, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I will have everything linked down below. All the products I used in my face will be linked down below. A product, the link for the subscription box will be down there. And also the Motivate if you're interested in checking it out again you know me never a hard sell um it's i think the subscription box was no that's not it oh 15 dollars off your first box dwd 15 um motivate i'm not sure what my link is i don't remember but i know it's 20 percent off your order for that and i will have everything linked for amazon and either makeup products that i use skincare products but you can see at the end of the day the difference in my in, right under here i mean um like the girl said um if you have you know deep creases you can get them filled in if that is something that bothers you you can you know have them filled in they recommend that um i mean i wouldn't put a lot of money into creams because you're not going to see the results that you want so I really wouldn't recommend saying, I mean, it's good for your skin anyway to actually hydrate it. Sure. But are you going to see results that you like, oh, am I going to see those creases go away? I would say probably not. But again, go see, go see your skin doctor and have them tell you what to do. That's always a good option. If it's something that really, you know, something you really want to work on. It's a personal preference, you know, definitely, um, I would invest in, I think more facials. I don't do enough facials. Um, I think I should do like maybe one a quarter. Like maybe every three or four months do a facial. But yes, you definitely um going to exfoliate several days a week, do an eye mask I mean a face mask once a week, and then do the skincare routine every day. So just to keep up on it. But that's what works for me. So I'm exhausted. I hope you enjoyed this. Spend the day with D. Day in the life vlog. If you did, let me know with a thumbs up. Comment below with something you thought was interesting. And we got to do a little bit of dinner. I did get a few dinner clips in there today. It was just a quick little, uh, I want to do a quick light cordon bleu. And, and the boys, two boys, Steve and Peter, both agreed it was really good. They said, yeah, it was a good little quick little cordon bleu. I mean, is it traditional cordon bleu? No. But was it good? Yes. Again, did it hit the note of cordon bleu? It did. And that's what you look for in food. Did it have the, the, the chicken, the ham, that's that lovely nutty swiss cheese it did so that's you know that's what we look for we look for that note and that was a a win so i will dish with you tomorrow for food finds we are going to trader joe's <gasps> yes i went to trader joe's we got a little bit of a haul so i hope to see you tomorrow so have a great rest of your day and we will dish another day goodbye my lovelies